Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I am over here in the Red Point Village by TriPoint Homes called Kings Canyon. They just literally last couple weeks opened up all the model homes. They have four different floor plans to choose from, but three are in display. Look how gorgeous it is. This right here is actually Overlook. They have the model homes over in the Overlook side. But Kings Canyon has, again, four different floor plans. And this is plan four. This has 3686 square feet, four to six bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half bathrooms, and three to four bay garages. I don't know why they say bay, because these look like garages. Anyway, this one, as of today, is priced at 900000 and depending on the elevation, the elevation price will change. Look at this beautiful courtyard. Very nice. It's a gorgeous day in November. I love how they did this driveway. Very nice. So this is the pivot door. This is a glass pivot door that's extra. Now when you buy these homes, the build time is about 10 months. So what that means is that a lot of the structural options have already been selected for you. Making it easy for you to buy. So when I mean structural options is anything that's related structurally to the home. I like this floor plan. It's, this is the largest model. Let's just go, this is the whole great room. The kitchen, I like the, how they stacked the tiles. Black stacked tile with a beautiful quartz countertops. They did not do a waterfall effect on here, um, but I like how long they extended it and then did the two-tone cabinetry with the black quartz cabinets, I mean black quartz countertops with the white cabinets, and then it looks like a dark gray cabinets here with the white quartz. Looks like this is a spot where you can put your trash can. Obviously a lot of these models have the Sub-Zero refrigerator, you have your microwave and your oven, and then a nice pantry with built-in custom cabinets, of course, your home is not going to look like that. I really like this tile. Very nice. And then this is an upgraded appliance package with the monogram. Now the HOA here is a total of 140 or $154. 48 of that is for Summerlin West. 106 of that goes to Kings Canyon, and the SIDS are about 18,000, and um, you're going to be paying till 2049 with a yearly $1,600. Unfortunately, I can't check out the backyard. They have it locked up, but this looks like the standard lot size. Now, the lot premiums here are not as high as Overlook. If you're on the inside without any views, it's around 25 to 45,000 and if you're on the outside with views it's around 125 plus thousand not as expensive as overlook where it's around 350k looks like you have access to the garage door right there and let's see very nice I like this now that gas fireplace is actually an upgrade this would be your den and I would imagine that you could convert this into a bedroom and they did this garage. I don't know why they're calling it bay. When they say bay, bay means there's an extra garage behind the garage. So that's interesting. Looks like you have a half bath down here. Same quartz countertops as in the kitchen. I almost went with that quartz opted for a different route. And then this bedroom looks like it has a three-fourths bathroom. Oh, 
Everyone loves having a bedroom downstairs. It's always a great option. This railing is extra. And I bet you how this wall treatment is is extra. I forget what they call that. I think a Santa Fe wall texture. Not quite sure. As you come up, you have a little catwalk and then you have this beautiful loft. Aha! Very nice. I like. Look at those views. Beautiful. Gosh, it's gorgeous out today. Look how beautiful it is. I love Summerlin, if you can't tell already. I like the flooring that they selected. I'm not really into dark flooring, but that actually looks pretty nice. So as you come up the stairway, you take a right, and there's a bedroom right here. Wow, it's a good-sized bedroom. And it looks like it has its own bathroom as well. Very nice. It's a good-sized room. I love those windows, those linear windows. This is a great floor plan. I'm trying to figure out if it reminds me of the floor plan over in Sandalwood. I don't think so. So here's the primary bedroom. It's huge. It's a good size. OMG, look at that shower. Obviously, this is an upgrade. I would not go for this shower. The bathroom to me is, you know, it's not that big. And they went with the same countertops and cabinets. And then the primary closet. That's a good size. Yeah, I don't know. This is just personal opinion but I'm not a fan of it. I'm sure people like it, but I don't. I like that this one also has a balcony off of the primary. Ooh, yeah, this is a great. Even if you don't have city views, looks like both of the balconies do have some city views. This one has beautiful mountain views. And then look at this pool. I mean, it's a perfect size yard. You don't need anything too big. Who wants to maintain it all? But look at that. Look at those city views. Beautiful. It's a clear day today. This is a great size patio. Alrighty-dighty, let's see. This is cute. I like that little built-in desk area. Here is another bedroom. They're all pretty good size. Feels like maybe 12 by 12 or 14 by 14. I mean, with the house this size, the bedroom should be big. Ooh, I love those tiles. But nice bathroom. They went with, looks like the generic mirrors. And this looks like a generic tub insert. Yep, fiberglass. It's very nice though. I mean, for basic, it looks really good. I think in the secondary bathrooms, I think it's a perfect choice. You don't need to upgrade everything. Most people spend around supposedly 10 to 15% in upgrades. Where I would spend my upgrades in is on flooring and kitchen. Beautiful. This does not come with the appliances, or at least those appliances, and I'm sure this is an extra option. It's a good size laundry room upstairs, and then here's the last bedroom. 
good sized bedroom up here too. I love all the windows. It's very open, very airy. It's a good feel to this home. Okay, guys, so to summarize, this is plan four. Over here at Kings Canyon, this is 3686 square feet. You can have four to six bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half bathrooms, and three to four car garage. Let me know in the comments if you like my video tours of homes in Summerlin. Don't get many views, so I, I need to see what I'm doing wrong. And if you like it, you know, if you're thinking about buying new construction here in Summerlin or anywhere in Vegas, you can give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.